Okay. Welcome to round 13 of GP Denver. I'm Robert Martin from numerous podcasts on the MTG Cast Network. Beside me is Greg from Four Spikes, another podcast on the MTG Cast Network. We are watching the feature match of Paul Schoen at currently 34 points and Gadenis Vigaris also at 34 points. It was a rematch from a couple rounds ago. Yeah, they they were the last two undefeateds and they drew. And they drew. They still are the last undefeated. And <laughs> subsequently went to win out as well. So yeah. Yes, they played to the draw. <laughs> right now that would be perfect for both of them. Yeah, it actually just wouldn't do that. So it looks like uh, blue red go versus in fact. Looks like uh, a bomb, a uh, blight mamba. Yeah, blight mamba. Um, off camera, it looks like there's a couple cards. Apparently, there's a there's a steel sabotage and something. Yeah, I, I, I can't see. We're gonna get him to move the cards over yeah. momentarily. He hits for one infect. Yeah. So uh, it looks like a. Uh, Copper mirror. Let's play a while back. So, uh, calling Dias, doing good drag. On a 30 source, Rot Wolf. It's going to need to leave that Sky Hill School back for now, at least, with the. Uh, Fact of three poison on the board facing him. Yeah, the it's a it's a lumen good drake. So lumen good drake, yes. If you have Melcraft, it's bound to be. Looks like a uh, thought. Uh, Trigon thought. Does Chan become Paul. a little aggressive here? Swing with the rot wolf. Well, Paul's he's because been he's get, been a little mana screwed. He's not. I mean, it's not awful, but he's definitely missed. Uh, so he's the Rot Wolf. Which is just clearly correct. Um, Adinus doesn't even want him to draw another land, so he just takes it. So that puts him up to three poison counters. Plays the Ravager, loses a life, goes to 19, draws a card. Is it. Is it three? Was there was there a poison counter earlier from? Blight yeah, Mamba? he got one from the Blight Mamba earlier. Oh, okay. He's up to three, and Chian should be down to nineteen. Rager. He's not in fact. Okay. Uh, That's we, pretty sick. We did a draft. We did a draft preview with video of him. The good drafts live. And even though it looks like he's running Infect, he's actually running a Dinosaur deck. Which, remarkable to me that it's actually so, but... Neuroc and Visimancer. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a pretty... Uh, it's, it's, it's like in, in Scar's draft, putting the uh, Ikakar Mirror in and, and, and just kind of like... He has a Contagion Clasp in his hand. Two Contagion Clasps. Okay. In the deck. There goes the Neuroc. This is amusing. Maybe maybe game two we'll see that he's not an infect deck. Trades with the thought wolf. Let's Paul oh. draw a card. Land. Good. Land. That, that is, is, that is, that is huge. More land. For Dennis. He's drawing another Dying. card. Even more Dying. land. Ugh. Perilous Mirror.
Swings with everything. Perilous Mirror blocks the Blight Mamba. Regenerates. Regen. What does he do with the two? Either forces him to use the other mana on the Blight Mamba. Which he will. Which he will. Takes, takes him down. two from the Rager. Takes him down to 16. Plays uh, another forest. Cast his turn. 16-19. Uh, another card. Looks like there's a Shatter in Gardenus' hand. And infinite mana sources. Oh, this guy is cool. Gets rid of one of those lands. Paul's yet to draw a second black on his deck. Can't really see what he's got in his hand other than, than one forest. Frexian Juggernaut. There's an answer, but he's got a shatter in hand, so that should not make it any more than to the turn here. Draws another land. Should be for the shatter. Yep. Calling Dias. Hey, what up, Miss? Response. We got an interesting uh, matchup here. Paul's uh, got a bunch of uh, looks like he's got a bunch of stuff. guys. But uh, we've we've heard that from the from a deck tech that it's actually um, dinosaur a, dino deck. a dinosaur deck with just some stall, uh, efficient stall. In fact, guys, and then two contagion class and a calling guys. Oh wow, the whole proliferate on your on your calling days. That's that's always a beautiful sight. A lot of forest too. Yeah, he hasn't drawn that second black yet so far. But does he have a what? Does he have a double? Black? I don't know a, if he has a double black in his hand. hand? It, it actually looks it. like an instill infection. Paul's considering his options. Gets in there with the Blight Mamba. Thinking about blocking with it. Yeah, blocks with the Sky School. Takes it down to a 1-1. One, one. Generates the Blight Mamba. When Blight Mamba first, when I, when I first saw Blight Mamba, it, 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 I mean, I liked it. I liked it a lot because you could just keep swinging and swinging and swinging and regenerating and eventually, you know, the things that block it, they're going to disappear. Yes. But now it's almost outclass. I, I mean, I used to think that it was like a really, really high pick for your infect decks, but now it's seems I've, outclassed by I've, a lot I've of never, better. I've never really felt good about running Bite Mamba. Um, I mean, it, it, in the infect mirror, it's one of your worst cards. <laughs> have you it's ever put, just one of your worst cards. Have you ever put a Dark Steel Axe on a Bite Mamba? <laughs> Um, I mean, it just, it's, it just dies. Have you ever put very easy and um, it costs, infiltration it's, it's lands a one, one on, yeah, on, well, a, yeah. on a Blight Mamba? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 definitely um, a fine card in, in like this matchup, and, in, and I think it's it's a good it's a decent splash for um, non-infect green green decks, kind of like this, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's basically like um, dre um, dredge skeletons. Sure. Except, yeah. it, except when it blocks. Yeah. Your guy's probably going to... Tower of Calamities. Yeah. Oh, now oh, that oh, is oh, very oh, effective oh, oh, oh. right now because he's got plenty of mana. Oh, yeah, Cost four, you calamities. pay eight, and you deal 12. And that's, that's how I remember. And that's not a problem considering the fact he has 10 mana right now on the board to be able to pretty much pick and choose whatever he wants to kill. 
Well, I mean, the only, the only good Mammoth, target is... Mammoth. Yeah, is yeah. the, the Rager. Oh. Yeah, Slice and Twain. Yeah, or Godinus can just, uh, or uh, Paul can just draw a card off of um, that spell. You pay four? Like you pay four, I pay four, I get a card. <laughs> it's fair. Magic is fair. That's a win-win situation, right? I, I think everyone does win. I can't really tell what's in Paul's hand. Very curious. He's he's new to, to Gigi's life. So we, we, we have to give him a little bit of, of you know, a little cut him a little slack for not showing us the hand, you know. Yeah, he yeah unfortunately he's only ten oh and one, so you know. Yes, I am the voice. Then what are you doing this Banks. for? You should be a multimillionaire. <laughs> you know what? They pay me a lot. They pay me a lot for that voice, but I think that that top card's a ruling wound, and I think that there's also instill infection in his hand. He just he just he just flashed a couple of um, and it looks like a trigon of infestation. Yep. Now these Virulent two wound. these these two guys played earlier today to a draw, and. This, this game isn't moving along uh, any quicker than that other game. We didn't Fast watch it. Gold but dies, he's a poison counter. Um, you're being proliferated. Yep, so another, I think Adenis is going to go up counter. to like five cow poison right now. It's like, wait a minute, what does this card do? He's like, what? I get one from that too? Yeah, okay. Yes, so. Man, I need to I need to get um, Bell Bill to Boy Poison queued up whenever someone gets a poison counter. Yes. You, you don't like that song? Not a fan? I don't know this song. Uh, you watch Scrubs? No. That was before his time. That was before his time. <laughs> Scrubs, Scrubs is before your time. That's is not Scrubs true. Scrubs is not. Scrubs is... Are you familiar no, just... with the Turk dance on Scrubs? No. Sigh. <laughs> Alright, back to so, magic. So, um, Bite Mama attacks, um, box with a Volshock replica, and then uh, shoots Paul for three. Treasure Mage. Show us. Show the gargoyle. Uh, four, four, flyer for six. Four. That is a Lumen Grid. Lumen Grid gargoyle. What is the Lumen Grid? Do we have any? Do we know, do we have any lore? Any magic lore? People in the booth. You don't know what the Lumen Grid is. I don't. No, sorry maybe, about that. Maybe someone in the chat will let us know, or on Twitter. What is the Lumen Grid, or who are they? And why do they have drakes and gargoyles? I don't know if you want that answer. You might get some... <laughs> I, I mean, I really do. You might get some interesting answers for that, that's for sure. All right, so um, both players are 16 life. Godinus has five poison counters. You are watching Grand Prix Denver. This is live, round 13, between the two still undefeated. Paul Chion and Godinus Vidigaris. Uh, both players have um, tw 11 wins and one draw. Yes. And yeah. the draw was against each other. Yeah. Ooh, the Lumen Grid is the city that. of the Nurak. So after the Treasure Mage was 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 played, um, good job, Blood The Lumen Grid Gargoyle was then played after being fetched. Um, following turn, Sivak Replica played and then immediately you. Sacked to kill the gargoyle. Swings with both. Treasure Rage but getting in the way because it already yeah. did his. He did. He did his he, real he did job. His work. his work is done. Now you can just chill and block. Looks like an emissary. Reading emissary. Might help to deal with the, the uh, land issue. The black. If that's if that's relevant, I don't know if we actually have a, um, a grasp of darkness in Paul's hand. Drawing a card. Taps five. I 
It's a 3 5 um, defender that with Metalcraft gets plus 2 plus 2 and can attack. Um, and then, uh, Dark Slip Drake. Pumps up the board quite nicely. No Metalcraft, but a bunch of blockers is his name. He drew a second swamp. Well, for, for a dinosaur deck, I don't think. Um, yeah, we haven't, have seen, <laughs> we haven't seen dinosaurs. Any, yeah, we've seen a bunch of um, one ones and two twos and two ones. A bunch of utility cards. Stuff that gets you to other stuff. But not so much. Time to use the clasp, maybe? Or you're going to to give him a counter on the. <sighs> counter on the draw card. Uh, the draw, the trigon, might not be the best play, but it'll put him on six. I mean, you've got the calling guys with, I think, two counters on it. It's not the worst idea in the world to kill the treasure mage. Yeah, infestation seems pretty good. More ground stall. Or it could be a potential win condition. But then it has five poison counters. Passing the turn. I'm surprised that Cullen Days only has two counters so far. No, he's not. Is he not? That, he's, he's not proliferating every turn. Well, I mean, right now you've got you've only got five minutes. So if you proliferate, you don't have the ability to uh, regenerate regenerate your Blight Mamba. So if you attack with the Blight Mamba, you're putting one counter somewhere, um, which is fine. Mm. But uh, the calling di not the calling dice, the um, the class is just more valuable. There's more value in in adding a counter to the treasure mage, and, and to the calling dais, and, and to the to the person. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. And to, and the trigon. Yeah, and the trigon now, absolutely. And and maybe even Godinus's trigon, if he's feeling. You well, know, you nice. can't because it, oh, it doesn't have any counters. Yeah, that, that ah. one's empty already. I'm sure. I'm sure Paul would have done that, because he's a nice guy. We had him in the booth. Very nice. I haven't actually haven't met Paul. Very humble. He is tapping. I believe he is actually nice now he's using the class to put counters on his EOT. opponents. Yeah, I'm guessing based on the writing it down that he also included the poison. It's not really a visual cue other than that, so. Or oh, now he's gonna sacrifice the emissary to to the calling guys, day. make it go up one more. That's pretty that's pretty good. Is he gonna draw the four cards? Four is four has gotta be enough. Seems, seems pretty good. Seriously. He could he could do it he could do it right now. Yeah. I he mean, doesn't, doesn't have to, you don't have to tap it. Right, and, and I mean he has a mana right now. I guess it's just one more mana. You could do a main phase after yeah. you Yeah, it's instill infection and can't tell. It's like a Mariak. Is that a Mariak rock book up? Swinging with the Blight Mamba. Puts the counter on something to regenerate. And we got more things to proliferate, guys. Guys and gals. Pass turn. Sure. Now Paul has enough mana to actually make a 1-1 uh, one -one blocker also. Yeah, and if it is in stone infection, he will be able to put it on like the Skyo School. Um, and then also proliferate everything, including that. So go, Dennis is on the every other turn draw card plan with his Trigon. <laughs> Thinking if he can squeak any more damage in. I think last turn he's, he uh, he attacked with the Drake. So. To put it to 1414 in terms of regular life. Now we can see why this match went to turns or went to draw last time. I mean, we're already this far into the match, and you know, Gian's the only one that I mean, right now that has you know could win quickly. Yeah, but I mean, the, the fires are pretty real. Um, Looks like another Drake. 
Uh, I mean, gargoyle in the demon's hand. Let me see what the other card is. God damn it. He will attack with both. Take to the skies. So swing for five. Faction. Oh, that's yeah, that's four mana. Yeah. He's probably gonna make dark card, and then he's gonna probably do it again and proliferate a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I, th I think he he just wants to make that dark slip Drake a two a zero power so that he never has to kill it. Uh, he actually put it on the um, on the Skyo school. So now this guy was cool as a 1-1. One, one. And he proliferated everything that um, made sense for him to put, actually everything. Yes. So yeah, 7 poison, 5 counters on the calling dais. Ta he's tapped out, so the Bite Mamba can't be regenerated, but sacks it to calling dais for 6 counters. 6 six has got to be enough cards. Yeah, it's at this point you're, you're running into greedy land. Well, Godinus is tapped out. No mana available. This should be fun for Paul. He's got to land. There we go. Yep. Let's let's draw six cards. Yep, seems fine. Forest. Was that a Fangarin Marauder? Definitely got a. That's a bellowing tangle worm. Tangle worm. Yep. He's got lots of options here, what he can do. That's for sure. Ten mana. Point at seven poison. That's tangle three worm. blockers open. Marauder is in his hand. I think that's Fanger Marauder. Yeah. He, wants, he wants to not be at 11 life. Plays a murder. 5-5 five, five, whenever an artifact goes to the graveyard from play. Um, you get the May ability. Yeah, May game, you may gain 5 life. Only if you want 5 life. Yeah. yeah. And as you've heard earlier, Rashad gained over 100 life with that card once, and Ben Stark compared it to the perfect splashable card in, to get in the green. Yeah, it's it's outstanding. In in in. In sealed, I play it almost every time. Regardless, actually, I did that yesterday at a Razor Verge Thicket and a Singleton Forest. Looks like my red white deck. Looks like Dennis drew another another land, so he can hit for two, four, six, seven, or six in the air. There's, there's still four mana available to Paul, so he can. Um, proliferate with the, the class, which will shrink, shrink a couple guys. He only has, yeah, he has the four mana. Unfortunately, doesn't have the extra two to make a one-one blocker. Yeah. Although it's not much that that guy can block. Well, they're on the ground, and I, mean, I don't think it's going to be too crazy of an attack here. So he's going to take today on Lumen Grid, Gargoyle, Dark Slick Drake, and uh, Sky Eel School. Attempt to attack for seven. And Sky Says, uh, Let's make that six. Let's make that guy smaller. Let's make you have eight poison counters. Yep. So now we know that for sure he's got another mana in his hand. Good Dennis. And that would put him at eight poison counters. What kind of gas do we have for Paul here? Oh, he's, land? he's got a lot of stuff. Yeah. He's got to have an answer here. Well, even if it's just the ability to... Get an artifact to the graveyard. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good. Another Marauder's in his hand. It's actually not all that great. Is that... I think that there might be a Spread the Sickness four cards deep. That would be pretty pretty that, good if well, it is. Well, Spread the Sickness, that's, um, that's I mean, game. Spread Sickness, 9 Poison yeah, Pass, I mean, Proliferate 10. 
I almost got to assume that it's not a spread of the sickness based on the fact that he's still thinking about it. It looks like there's a Morak replica. It looks replica. like the Morak replica. So play Fangren Hunter, play Morak replica, then you have the ability to gain eight life effectively. Okay, they will double block. Okay. Block each. Another Marauder. Walk replica. That seems really good. The ability to, to, to sack it and. Just go from 5 lose. to 13 life. And he's going to do it right now. Lose 2, go down, gain, gain 10. And two cards. And I, I two played cards. that. Yeah, I, yeah. I seems, pay five mana to, all right. to gain to gain ten life and, Lose, and draw two cards. Yeah, that's not a bad deal. So that'll put him back up to thirteen. So board state's looking because he loses two, so he'll more go up to thirteen. Paul. Can we get Paul's life total adjusted to thirteen? 13. It's thirteen. He's at thirteen. Uh, okay. We had it, a little problem might, with the... There might have been one point somewhere else that we missed. No. The judges were trying to figure out the life totals correctly there. We had it right at 13. Right, so cards well, are in two, play. We've got two islands in Godinus's hand. And Godinus also has... Plays one. Yep. And he has a Trigon of, of Knowledge, Dark Slick... Drake and a Lumen Grid Gargoyle that he's contemplating attacking with. Wow, Paul Cheon has two Fangra Marauders, a Trigon of Infection with six counters, and a, Cullen, and a um, Contagion Clasp. A Trigon of Infection that he'll never ever probably use. Yeah, I mean, it seems. It seems pretty rough for Goodies. Um, I just, mean. There's no, there's no mana to, to use the class right now, but man, did he just, did he just play two islands? No. The other one's there. He, uh, we just had an update, uh, Owen Turnwall, 2-0, won again, undefeated in, so far, yes. He's, well, he's, he's lost, undefeated in draft. Undefeated, undefeated today. today in the yeah, draft. he's X1. He's X1, looking pretty good to make our top eight. Yeah, I think he's, I think he's guaranteed now. Yeah. I think. That and a couple of handshakes, and we'll be seeing him in the top eight. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he, I think he can even, like, I think he can even lose, lose draw. Ooh, Bellow and Tangle War. So is, that, uh, that makes those Penguin Hunters really scary. For <laughs> I, I think Paul's going for the double victory. It's going to take him down to one and take him down to nine poison and determine which one he wants to win with. Jordan Friday to the main stage. Jordan Friday to the main stage. Uh, what did you have? Justin Cohen. Oh, that? that's sick. Is that a Red, Red Sun's Sun Venus? Zenith? Zenith? Wow, for how much? Um, Can he do it? Lethal and, and scoop from wow. Paul. Wow. Wow. That came from nowhere. That, that, Crazy that Red Sun Zenith was definitely from the trees. That is top decking at its best right there. We thought for sure That's that this insane. match was going to be. We thought for sure that. Yeah. Chiano had this one <laughs> under control, laughing about two ways to win. Hey, speaking of places that we like to go to. I like going to StrikesOnline.com. And I bet you that uh, they are buying cards at top prices. I think they are. Yes. Wait. Yep, they are. I, they just, are. Che I okay. just checked, and they are in fact buying at top. Top prices. And you get free delivery with purchases over thirty dollars? Wait, 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 wait. So if if I bought a Tezzeret Agent of Bolas. Yes. And then I wanted it shipped to, to my apartment, I wouldn't have to pay nope. any shipping. They would cover that as part of the cover of the thing. And because Tezzeret is over thirty dollars, mm -hmm. if you use the coupon code GG's Live It'd be even cheaper? It'd be even cheaper, and the shipping would be free. Oh my god, I'm going on right now to buy some Tezzeret's Agent of Bolas. Again, we'd like to thank Strike Zone for Gigi's live coverage. He's literally going to Strike Zone right now. Well, I mean, why would I lie about that? Why would I lie? Oh, wait, I typed it in there. 
<laughs> Spook zone. <laughs> All right, there we go. Strike zone online. I want to. I want to see my coupon code in action. Hey, right there. Not only can you see your feed, your chat up there, there's Tezzeret right there. I'm, letting, I'm showing everyone how to go to strikesonline.com and add Tezzeret Agent Ebola to their cart. And remember to make sure you put in GG's Live, get that 10% off. I don't want anyone to see my, ooh, I do have a code. Look at that, 10% off. That's how you do it. Well, they're shuffling up for game two. Uh, all the other feature matches are currently over with and uh, you are with the only feature match left of the of the round. As Gadenis and Paul Chion battle to keep themselves X, zero, and one. I'm kind of rooting for a draw. That would make them X, zero, and two. I mean, wouldn't that, would that be the first time that two players played multiple, well, twice we, in the same in, tournament in, 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 and in, both drew? Unintentionally. Yeah. Unintentional yeah. draws. Well, if we had Rich Hagen here, I bet you he would know that. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm sure. I'm he's, sure he's, he's, he's probably in the chat, not, you know, being inconspicuous, going, yeah, I know I know all the stats about that. I know exactly how many times that's happened. He does. We've interviewed Rich Hagen on Metamagic. Believe me, he knows yeah, for the four. all the numbers. Oh, yeah. That'll take Chian down, yeah. down to 19. But looks like he drew another swamp, drew a swamp there. We got a stoke rebuttal in Regenius's hand. Try to station. And Shatter gets rid of that Trigon. Seems like these players are playing a lot faster than they have been. Maybe they saw the commentary on Gigi's Live to uh, <laughs> tell them to play faster. I think I think they don't want another draw. No, probably not there. And, and that game one took quite a bit of time. I actually can't see the time anymore because of those. Okay, that first round took 33 minutes to play. 33 minutes? Out of a 50 minute round. Oh my God. Well, I could definitely see Gadenis being on the aggressive here to try to get the 2 0 and get the win here. He's got some beaters, one of them being a 5 5. You know, not only does Fangren Hunter, I mean Fangren Marauder, give you five life when artifacts go to the graveyard, it's also a 5 5 for six. Yes. A yeah. splashable 5 yeah. 5 for six. I was surprised that thing didn't cost two green when it came out. I was surprised. Yeah, the, the double green? That's, yeah, that's that interesting templating. You would have thought that would have been another one. Ew. Hey. Nice board. Yeah, how are those replica, uh, replicas looking now? Looks like uh, target player gains 10 life. Target opponent. Yeah, take three, gain 10. Hmm. Okay. And those five fives can just swing into that board. Looks like Chiana has another land or so in his hand as he flashed by quick, another forest at least. Yeah, so it, it's actually 100% <laughs> <laughs> legit he is playing This is looking dinosaurs. very dinosaur dinosaurs, right now. Yeah. Ooh, Stork Rebuttal. Stork Rebuttal. Well, we knew he had that in hand from earlier. So when does he start swinging? I think he's trying to add up how the blocks can line up. 
and I guess if he swings the finger hunter, a double block with the uh, Volshock replica, and the, that that defender guy's a three five. Correct? Yes, he is. Yeah. He's a three five. That, I mean, I guess it's just a one for one. Ooh, Coffs Courier. Yeah. Force walk. Pretty good. Tick tock. You're on the clock. Paul's got a lot of lands. Yeah, we haven't seen any equipment from Gadenis. Oh, Rob. Rob Wolf. Wolf. Are we going to see Drake? Yeah, Drake and a, a, a gargoyle. Probably. Yep. He has two. Gargoyle. Yep. I was going to say. It just seems that it always ends up in his hand, so he will take the damage because he cannot block it because that is unblockable to him. Oh, uh, that's pretty savage. So. With the Belling Tangle Worm, the, these two Marauders can only be blocked by, or c cannot be blocked by the 3 5. Guess you have to throw some artifacts in a way and let, and let Paul gain multiples yeah. of 10 lives. Yes, yeah. yeah. You can see where this, is, this plan has seemed to come together a little bit here because, I mean, Paul could be as high as. 27 life or 20 or 22 life kills the one yeah he, he, he gains 10 from the way that it's death trigger stacks 27 life yeah and removes an, an important flyer that could get through on him so we got one and, and cuts down on metal craft which is pretty pretty solid so he has one Mana, blue mana in his hand. Let's say another Drake. Not Drake. Gargoyle. Think, yeah, Lumen Grid Gargoyle. He does have a Lumen Grid Drake in his deck, but not, uh, not in his hand. Swing for two. Maybe 25. Where's the other Gargoyle? Chion just shrugs and untaps his cards. Current life totals of 15 for Gadenis and 25 for Paul Chan. In case you're just joining us, we are live at Grand Prix Denver. This is round 13. We're watching a match between Paul Chian and Goldenis Vitagaris. Both of these players are Grand Prix champions. Both of these players are undefeated in this tournament. In the booth, Shot Miller, Rob Martin, and Greg. Yeah, I, I've, been, I've been introduced as Greg the Podcaster from Force Fights. Uh, last name's Ogrens. Greg. Greg Ogrens. Ogrens. Yeah, yeah. But they know you from Greg from Force Fights. Yeah, Force That's Bikes where they know old. you from. So, uh, For those of you who wanted an update on Martin Juza, he has 30 points right now going into this round. Just That's ten wins. I did the math. Paul, Paul just passed the turn. It looks like we're. His deck Who does? His deck was really good. Juza? Yeah, he had double Carnifex Demon. Double and Carnifex Demon. What's the four five in Infect guy where you get a poison counter every time? Uh, every Yeah, yeah. He, he has that guy too. Phyrexian Broodmother. Broodmother. Yes. Yeah. Vat Mother. Vat or Vat Mother. Chromsteed? Not Chromsteed. Um, Clone Shell. Clone Shell. Yeah. By the way, someone said you're good at basketball. I'm good at basketball? They joked about it because they said your name was Greg Odin. Odin. <laughs> I am actually really good at, at basketball, but I'm not Greg Odin. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not world-class at basketball. And you also don't have multiple so knee injuries. We're, we're considering a block here. We've got the 3-5 um, that, that can attack because he's actually a 5-7, and the uh, Coffs Courier, which can't be blocked. So after some consultation, um, Chion just chumps with the uh, the Frexian Rager.
Go, go fingering, Marauder. Probably going to consider making the same block. I mean, it just seems to make sense. Yeah, same block as before. Probably the same trade as before. Yeah. Seems like a fair I mean, trade. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty good for, for both players. It's, it allows them to, to get a little more action. You know, there's a, there's a... It cuts off the Metalcraft for, um, Godinius. Okay, how do you say his name? I'm Go, just Go Dennis. Dennis. Go, Go Dennis. Dennis. Go Dennis? Okay. It's like you have a friend named Dennis and you're rooting him on. Go sure. Dennis. Go Dennis. All right. I apologize infinitely for the number of times I've slaughtered that name. Um, so, attacking with, uh, Cops Courier, we've got a Disperse... Um, the shaman. I can't think of the name of right now. That two blister one, stick. Yeah. Yeah. Two blister one. stick. Shaman. So yeah, you can, you can uh, deal one damage to a creature or a player. We also um, got some updates in the meanwhile. Uh, Chapin has fallen to nine and four, and Luis Scott Vargas is currently at nine and four also. Um, yeah, I briefly spoke with Owen earlier in uh, this round, and he can He's uh, he's gonna. ID in his next round, and then he's got a, as long as that happens, free, free reign on the last round. He can he can um, scoop to his opponent and still tap it. Okay. So as long as he gets somebody to ID with him, um, pretty fun. Do we have any other guaranteed top eights yet? This match. Yeah, I guess that's fair. This yeah. match right here is a guaranteed top eight. How did Shuhei and Reitzel go? Did you hear? Did you find out? No? No, I didn't. I didn't. If attitude's anything, it looks like Reitzel might have won that match, but we don't have an official word. Dark Slick, so, sure. Did, I mean, did, did Rotwolf get in there? Did Rotwolf... No, it looks like it... it was, he was tapped. I mean, the, I think he attacked. Oh, there's two counters. There's two counters on the um, on the Nurok replica. So he must have blocked there. And Rotwood's going at it again. This time he gets in. Two poison. One, two, three. Silvac replica. Silvac replica. I want to make sure that three, five. Blocker won't get metal craft anytime gets soon. Steel sabotage. Ouch. He says, I'm gonna know that, sir. Looks like a mountain, I think. Mountain there. Yeah. Things for four. No block. Go to 13. I'm trying to think of the cards that we saw in Paul's deck last game, if any of those can really get him out of this yeah, situation. Yeah, he's got two, he's got he has two all lands. land. Does he have all land in his hand? And we know for two for sure. Yeah, there's one, one, one the swamp and one the forest for sure. Does he start trying to force some... Okay. Swings it both. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to threaten it. Oh, good dance just takes good this. Good take both. Ten, he's going to go to ten life yeah, and four counters. Good dance the game state. Ten and four poison counters. He probably, has a, he probably has a read on the, based on his demeanor, on, um, on Chion's demeanor as well. Looks like the mage. He's not, he's not playing around um, the X pump spell. Looks like he has the uh, mage in his hand. I mean, shoot, Vister, shoot the copper mirror, swing with the team. Ah, blister stick shaman to get rid of the blocker. And we're swinging for four. A little conservative, which is, which is fine. Um, seven? Is that seven balls? Yeah, I think that's a pretty, yeah, that's a fine swing. <laughs> Everything but the three five, which is which. I mean, there's 
It was no metal craft, so it wasn't. It wasn't. An they're the mage. I don't think he has anything left in there because no, both no, of he his, played both of them. Yeah, yeah, both of his lumen grids are in the graveyard right now. Oh, the discard pile. Huh? So it's getting close. Six life. Um, yeah, there it's it like is. I can't deal with your 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 guys or your uh, instant speed damage. Well, congratulations to Godennis is. He pretty much assures himself a top eight spot with that win. Well, there's no way that. I mean, he could. Yeah. He could. He could um.